scientists have just made a groundbreaking discovery, a huge underground reservoir of liquid water on Mars. It's so massive that it could cover the entire planet with up to two kilometers of water. In this video, we'll uncover the fascinating details behind this incredible discovery, what it could reveal about Mars's mysterious past, and the surprising reason why scientists are raising concerns. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. Billions of years ago, Mars had a much thicker atmosphere and a warmer climate, making it a planet with rivers, lakes, and possibly even oceans. But what happened to transform it into the cold and barren landscape we see today? The clues lie in the evidence left behind on its surface. First, we find a network of valleys and outflow channels that mirror the river systems on Earth, suggesting that water once flowed freely across the Martian terrain, carving out deep channels and depositing sediments over time. This ancient river network is a clear indicator that Mars was once a watery world. Secondly, scientists have detected hydrated minerals on Mars, including clays, sulfates, and salts, that only form in the presence of water. These discoveries provide strong evidence that liquid water was once abundant on the planet. Finally, the discovery of sedimentary rock formations by Martian rovers tells us even more. These rocks, layered and etched with features like crossbedding and ripple marks, were shaped by flowing water, much like similar formations on Earth. These geological structures offer a window into Mars' wetter past. But Mars's fate took a dramatic turn between three to four billion years ago when it began to lose its protective magnetic field. Unlike Earth, Mars' magnetic field was relatively short-lived. Generated by a dynamo effect in its molten core, this magnetic field would have shielded the planet's atmosphere from the sun's relentless solar wind. However, as the planet's core cooled, the dynamo weakened and Mars's magnetic field gradually faded away. Without this shield, the solar wind stripped away the atmosphere, leaving Mars exposed and unable to retain the water that once defined its surface. The planet's transformation into the dry, dusty world we see today was set in motion. Without its protective magnetic field, Mars became defenseless against the relentless assault of solar winds. Over millions of years, these charged particles from the Sun stripped away much of the Martian atmosphere, leaving it thin and fragile. The reduced atmospheric pressure made it impossible for liquid water to remain stable on the surface. Any surface water began to evaporate, and much of it was lost to space. The thinning atmosphere also diminished the greenhouse effect, leading to a dramatic cooling of the planet. Mars, once a world that might have harbored rivers and lakes, turned into the cold, arid desert we know today. As the planet's temperature plummeted, the remaining water solidified into ice, either at the poles or locked away as permafrost beneath the surface. Yet, this wasn't the whole story. Despite the loss of water to space, scientists believe that Mars should still hold more water than what was observed in its polar ice caps. This discrepancy led to a compelling mystery. Where was the missing water? Could it be hiding beneath the surface? And if so, might it still hold the potential to support life? The breakthrough came with NASA's InSight mission. Unlike other missions that focused on exploring the Martian surface, InSight aimed to peer beneath the planet's crust. Equipped with advanced instruments, InSight measured Mars's seismic activity, heat flow, and internal structure. This deeper exploration provided new insights into the planet's geology and offered clues about where the remaining water might be hiding, raising the tantalizing possibility that some of it could still be accessible and perhaps even sustain life in some form. Over the course of its four-year journey, InSight recorded over 1,300 Marsquakes. These seismic events, triggered by both meteor impacts and volcanic activity, sent shockwaves through Mars' interior, providing scientists with valuable data. By analyzing these seismic waves, geophysicists could map out the planet's internal structure, much like how Earth's internal layers are studied. Amid this treasure trove of data, a remarkable discovery emerged. The presence of a significant reservoir of liquid water hidden deep beneath the surface. This finding, made possible through the interpretation of how seismic waves interact with different materials, sheds new light on Mars's geological complexity and its potential to harbor life. To uncover the hidden water beneath Mars's surface, scientists turned to advanced rock physics models, similar to those used on Earth to identify underground aquifers and oil reserves. By applying these models to the seismic data gathered by InSight, they found that the most plausible explanation involved a deep layer of fractured igneous rock with its cracks filled with liquid water. Igneous rocks, formed from the cooling of molten material like magma or lava, are often associated with volcanic activity. As these rocks cool, they can develop fractures, creating channels through which water can move and eventually accumulate. 
While igneous rocks are generally not known for their ability to store large amounts of water under certain conditions, such as the widening of cracks over time due to weathering, they can indeed become reservoirs. This discovery marks a significant advance in our understanding of Mars' water cycle. Yet, the layer of water-bearing rock lies at depths ranging from 11.5 to 20 kilometers beneath the surface. Reaching these depths poses a formidable challenge, even with Earth's advanced drilling technologies. For future Mars explorers, accessing this water may remain out of reach for the foreseeable future, but the revelation adds a new dimension to our knowledge of the red planet's subsurface environment. While the discovery of liquid water on Mars doesn't guarantee the presence of life, it certainly fuels speculation. This underground water reservoir could resemble extreme environments on Earth, such as deep-sea hydrothermal vents or the depths of ancient mines where microbial life thrives against all odds. Scientists suggest that if Mars harbors habitable conditions, they are most likely buried deep beneath its surface, away from the harsh radiation and barren landscape above. Now, you've heard about the water beneath Mars' surface, but have you ever wondered why Mars lost its magnetic field while Earth managed to keep its own? If you're curious, click this video right here to dive into the mystery. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.